What's up guys, Sal here. So when it comes to keeping secrets at bay, Google is by far the worst. When companies like Samsung and Apple worry about someone leaking a photo of their upcoming phone in potato quality, Google on the other hand worries about someone uploading a full dedicated review video of their unreleased phone. That's how bad they are at keeping secrets. But Google has a great idea to counter the leaks. Instead of letting the leakers leak their products, they're doing it themselves. Though technically it's not a leak if the company itself gives out information of their unreleased products, but that's what's happening here with the Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro. Six months before the actual product unveiling, Google in a surprising move has decided to reveal the Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro at their IO event that happened just yesterday. You heard that right, the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro are official. Although I wouldn't call this an official launch, it's more like a teaser, but Google did reveal the design, the colors, and some details about the Pixel 7 lineup. First up, this is how the handsets are gonna look. Google is retaining the camera bar that debuted with the Pixel 6, but this time they've managed to make it significantly better, which now is made from polished aluminum that turns right into the frame on both sides for a more integrated look. The camera lenses are a lot bigger, and interestingly, they look like the eye shape cutout from the upcoming iPhone 14 Pro. Google has also showcased the color options, and here it is. The Pixel 7 comes in obsidian, snow, and lemongrass, while the 7 Pro is in obsidian, snow, and hazel. The rear is actually made from matte, soft touch glass instead of glossy finish on the Pixel 6. And accented by the polished aluminum bar that runs across the top of the device, the Pixel 7, especially in that snow color, looks clean and absolutely premium. Other information revealed by Google for the Pixel 7 includes a Tensor 2 chip and Android 13 right out of the box. Google didn't show the front of the device nor did they give any other information but said they will fully reveal the handset later this year, probably in October. Google has also revealed the Pixel 6a at the event for 449 that comes with a flagship Tensor chipset but with a plastic back and a 60Hz display. They've also showcased the Pixel Watch, their first smartwatch that will run Wear OS. Pixel Buds Pro have been revealed as well with active noise cancellation, along with the Pixel Tablet that's scheduled to launch next year. Basically, Google is creating a Pixel ecosystem similar to Apple and Samsung. There were other software-related announcements too, notably Google Maps is getting an immersive search feature that gives users the chance to explore a 3D rendered version of big cities from within the Google Maps app, which is awesome to be honest. By the way, you no longer need to say hey Google to wake up the Google Assistant. There's this new scene exploration tool coming to Google Search as well, where you can point your phone's camera at an object and then ask a question to help filter your results. For example, in a store, it can recognize each individual chocolate bar and show its online review ratings. You can further filter options based on the highest rating or type of chocolate and even look for a nut-free option. Of course, with that being said, for all the latest Pixel 7 updates, be sure to subscribe. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.